The Pennsylvania Supreme Court is considering whether Bill Cosby's sexual assault conviction should be overturned. The hearing was held virtually today. Joe Holden listened in and joins us now to break it all down for us. Hi, Joe. Hi, Jessica. And Bill Cosby's legal team has been waiting for this day to get their argument in front of the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. They have issue with two major points throughout the duration of the case. Bill Cosby's been in jail for two years of a three-year minimum sentence. Hundreds of laptops, phones, and other devices were tuned in Tuesday morning as Bill Cosby appealed his aggravated indecent assault conviction. The actor and comedian wasn't present for the hearing before the state Supreme Court. Even though it streamed over YouTube, Pennsylvania court rules bar us from broadcasting any part of it. So an artist was tapped to sketch the screen. The hearing lasted two hours. An attorney for Cosby seized on the trial judge's ruling, allowing five prior bad acts witnesses to testify. Their women, some seen here from his trial, that prosecutors say demonstrated a pattern. Cosby drugged scores of young women and assaulted them. But Cosby's lawyer described it five mini trials with vague accusations from Jane Doe's. At least one justice indicated he believed the evidence was extraordinarily prejudicial. It was a moment Cosby's publicist, Andrew Wyatt, saw as a small victory. He spoke with me from his home in Alabama. This trial was supposed to be about Bill Cosby and Andrea Constant. It was about Bill Cosby being tried against six other people. It was six trials into one. Cosby's legal team also pressed the high court about the use of a 2005 deposition regarding accuser Andrea Constant. She told police Cosby in 2004 drugged and assaulted her inside his Elkins Park home. Judge Stephen O'Neill allowed the deposition to come in at trial, despite Cosby's lawyer saying he had a deal with former prosecutors he would never be charged in exchange for that testimony. Stuart Ryan, a former Montgomery County prosecutor who's now in private practice, says there was never a binding deal not to prosecute Bill Cosby. Cosby's uh, legal team has kind of ignored that and tried to hang on to different legal arguments, but at the end of the day, the trial courts found that there was no credible evidence that, it, that an agreement ever existed. Well, Cosby's legal team is asking the Pennsylvania Supreme Court to vacate the conviction and return it to the trial court. Now, should the Supreme Court let the conviction stand, Bill Cosby's team also has options in the federal system. We're live. This is Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, thank you.